King's likes to be at the forefront. We were the first to offer a PhD in the digital humanities, and this offers a kind of vibrancy in the department. When I reached out to King's, they reached back to me probably more strongly than anyone else. King's been doing what I was interested in longer than almost any place in the world. I was really happy to come. Digital culture and society covers social and cultural aspects of the digital. Everything from big data to social media to surveillance. We cover a spectrum of issues. We'll equip students with what they need for a career by familiarizing them with a broad range of issues around digital culture. In the industry, you might say that we are equipping our students with domain knowledge. The field of digital creation is applicable in any organization, has a large quantity of digital information that it needs to manage and use in some way. So the programme covers practical skills and theoretical knowledge which are required for a career in digital curation. What makes the programme unique is that it provides the student the opportunity to study at two prestigious institutions, Humboldt University in Berlin and King's College London. One of the special things about the MA here is that it builds on and connects to the collaborative research which has been carried out over 15 years with other sister departments here at King's and with other institutions and gives the students a very, very concrete sense of how to create digital resources and also how to critique them at the same time. So a good example of this is where one of our students, as part of the MA, had to produce a digital edition of something called the Codex Mendoza, which used innovations in digital publishing to present this material in new and exciting ways. I teach part of the module on the MA Digital Humanities called Communication and Consumption of Cultural Heritage, which looks at how the heritage aspects of culture are expressed digitally. I think it's uh, very essential to human beings. It uh, reminds us uh, where we come from and uh, where we will go. The MA in Digital Asset and Media Management here at King's. It covers all aspects of how we manage and look after digital objects, digital assets and digital media. So it covers anything from production to curation to metadata and to dissemination. So it's all aspects of looking after digital objects and valuable digital objects particularly. The MA will allow me to make a total important and a dream change in my career with new skills and new knowledge that I gained from the course. Our students have gone to work in all sectors, anything ranging from the heritage sector such as museums, libraries and archives to the digital media commercial sectors as well. I was offered a place in other universities but they didn't really have a dedicated department for digital humanities. I also check the projects that were going on and I like the profile of some of the tutors that look you know, very top class in the fields I was interested in. Big data entails most of your everyday life. Most of the things that we do now are increasingly mediated by mobile devices, by our laptops, our smart environment. What we will be bringing to our students is unique insights so that they have a stronger theoretical understanding of processes of big data, learning about tools and interdisciplinary practices to work with that data. We're really proud of how well we did in the REF. We came first for what's called research power. So that means the number of staff and the quality of our research was first in the country. Our projects are groundbreaking, they're innovative, they're new and we're always trying to push the boundaries.